Hello world, Kodak here from Ericsynth and today I will show you the Black X-Fade module. It's a high quality crossfade module designed for crossfading two audio or control voltage signals. Fade curve on the module is calculated in a way that it does not lose a signal amplitude at any crossfade stage. The inputs allow you to boost audio or CD signals by two. And now let's see it in action. To demonstrate audio crossfading, I'll use the Black Wavetable VCO's main output and the fixed square wave sub oscillator as the audio inputs. Good to know is that in audio mode, inputs are AC coupled to eliminate undesired clipping if one of the audio signals is biased, so you can freely patch in any weird audio source too. With the input level knobs, you can adjust the incoming signals gain for each channel. When it's set to 12 o'clock, the signal is exactly the same as the input. When set to fully clockwise position, the signal is boosted two times. With the big crossfade knob, you can crossfade between the two inputs. When it's set to fully counterclockwise position, you will just get the left input. When it's set to fully clockwise position, you will just get the right input. And when the crossfade knob is set to 12 o'clock, you get both signals mixed together. Channel levels are also indicated by the red and orange LEDs on the module. As there's two high quality VCAs used to achieve this, crossfading is very smooth and without any level drops. Crossfading can be also done by control voltage signal. I will now patch in a sine wave LFO from the Pico VCO to demonstrate this. With the CV level knob you can attenuate the incoming CV signal. For example now when it's set to fully clockwise position, the crosshead will do a full turn from input 1 to input 2. When attenuated, the CV in can be used to crossfade a specific portion of the whole range. And of course you can still manually adjust the crossfade while the CV in is being used. CV mixing is where the X-Fade module comes in really handy. The controls work the same way as in audio mode, but instead of mixing audio, you can create your own unique modulation signals. I will keep it simple and use a slow sine wave LFO on input 1 and a faster square wave on the input 2. The mixed signal of the crossfade module after that is patched into Polvox VCF module and is controlling the filter's cutoff. I will now play around with different gain and speed settings, but will keep the both alpha waves same. As you can see, by mixing just these two simple alpha shapes, you can already achieve very interesting modulation signals. Wow, 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 wow. 
CVIN also can be used in the CV mode and I will now patch in a third LFO signal to modulate the crossfade amount and play around more with the module at different settings. As you see, the X Fade module can really take audio and CV mangling in your rack to the next level. Don't overlook these simple utility modules as they can add so much to your setup. And for the patch, I'm using X Fade module to morph between two audio sources. Enjoy! <laughs> 